guys, it's Olga from Olga's Flavor Factory. Today, I'm gonna take you with me into my kitchen so I can show you some of my favorite small kitchen appliances. For the first eight years of our marriage, before my husband and I bought this house, we lived in apartments and the kitchens were very small. The storage space was definitely limited. Because of that, I wanted all of my kitchen appliances to do many different things, not just have one little gadget for one small task. Of course, there's things like the coffee maker that only does coffee, but we use it every single day. Even though our kitchen is much bigger now and I have a lot more storage and I love it, I still kind of have the same approach. I love to cook and I love trying all kinds of new appliances and I get excited when something new comes on the market uh, or a better version of something, but I still wanna keep it as simple as possible. For me, an appliance has to do a job really well and make cooking faster, easier, and better not just take up a lot of room. All of the things I'm sharing with you today are things that I love and I use them all the time. Since it's already here on my counter and I reserve that for the best ones, I'm gonna talk about my KitchenAid standing mixer first. This is a five quart standing mixer. There's also a professional one that's a little bit bigger, but I actually like this one better. I love that you can tilt the head like this. Um, on the other standing mixer, the head is stationary. So I really like that. I really like this color. I think it's so beautiful, but of course the main thing is the function of it. So it does a really great job. It's very powerful. It's much stronger than a handheld mixer, but the best part is that I can multitask. So while it's mixing up the batter for me, I'm measuring out the ingredients, putting them away, washing the dishes, cleaning up and all of that. That comes in really handy when you're whipping up egg whites or something that takes a really long time time. And since it's much more powerful than a handheld mixer, it does things much faster too. The standing mixer usually comes with three different attachments. This is the whisk attachment, there's a paddle attachment, and a dough hook. This is perfect for bread doughs and very thick doughs like that. I bought this separately from the standing mixer and I think it's definitely worth it. So it has these rubber blades on the side and when it's mixing, this is scraping the sides of the bowl, which is really nice. You don't have to scrape down the sides of the bowl with a spatula as often. Another thing that I really appreciate, I think somebody thought this through really well, is that you can add so many attachments right here that do the jobs of other appliances. So instead of having multiple huge appliances, this takes up so much less room and it's using the motor of the standing mixer to do other jobs. Like you can add a pasta machine here, a vegetable spiralizer, I have a meat grinder, and you just take it apart right here put it on here, and then I can grind my meat using the standing mixer, and it takes up so much less room, and it does a really good job too. So I love having the option to grind my own meat, and this takes so much less space. Moving over to this side of the kitchen, we have our coffee maker, our toaster, and our electric water kettle. My husband makes coffee for himself every morning before he gets to work, so that's why it has some counter space too. And I also have the toaster here because we make toast all the time. I love toast with tea and my kettle. So this electric water kettle is awesome. First of all, it heats up water so much faster than using the stove, and I don't have to worry about it boiling over anything because it automatically shuts off as soon as it comes to a boil. And I think it's so beautiful, it's nice and white, it looks so classy, and I love that it's metal on the outside. I also like that it holds a lot more water than most electric water kettles. Of course, I can't talk about small kitchen appliances without talking about my Instant Pot. I've talked about the Instant Pot so many times, I do so many different things in here, and it's definitely a favorite. Since I got the Instant Pot, I've gotten rid of my slow cooker, and I'm not planning on getting another one. So the Instant Pot is an electric pressure cooker, and what it does really well is that it cooks things that take a long time much faster. So tough cuts of meat, 
take a fraction of the time that it does if you cook it on the stove or in the oven. So I love that. You'll get really tender, succulent beef goulash. You can make broth in here. Um, I use this for so many things. Corn on the cob, oatmeal. I like making steel cut oats and it takes so long to do it on the stove. Steel cut oats have so much more nutrients in them and they have a nice nutty texture. They're not as mushy as quick cooking oats. So it's really nice and I love that it doesn't take as much time as on the stove. I also make yogurt and ricotta cheese or farmer's cheese in here. So it's awesome for just so many different jobs. I filmed a video where I talked about the Instant Pot and how to use it. So if you're looking for a user guide, I've got one for you. If I had to pick just one kitchen appliance, I would pick this one. Hands down, my food processor. I use this all the time and for so many different things. Not only does it process food and chops them up into small pieces, you make breadcrumbs, you can even make pie dough in here and pizza dough, it is awesome. food processor and most other food processors come with other attachments that you can grate and shred things. I don't use it because I think it's faster to just grate something by hand. Grating potatoes and onions for potato pancakes takes much more effort than most quick grating jobs. So a food processor comes in really handy and takes just a minute to have a large batch of raw potato batter done. I also use the food processor to process seafood, like salmon, cod, or shrimp for catriate or patties. I've even used it to make the most amazing beef burgers. I use partially frozen cuts of beef, and the food processor makes perfectly sized ground beef. Recently on my Instagram stories, I showed how I made banana ice cream in the food processor for my boys and myself too. I love it. It's so good. It has the texture of soft serve ice cream and it's made with just frozen bananas. If I had to pick between a blender and a food processor, I would always pick a food processor. Speaking of blenders, this is the one that I have and it is awesome. It is so powerful. It can really blend things up so, so well. And it has two different attachments, this one, and there's a smaller jar. Of course, this is perfect to puree smoothies and soups and you can make shakes in here and sauces and all kinds of things. If you make a lot of smoothies and other things like this, this is definitely great to own. My favorite thing to make in the blender is actually crepe batter, just because it's so convenient. I put in all of the ingredients, turn it on, pulse it a couple of times, and it's ready to go. It's so convenient, and I can store it in my fridge, and it has this cover on it, so I really like that. There's also the smaller jar, and this is what I use to make mayonnaise or hollandaise sauce. I also use it to make peanut butter and almond butter. You can also grind wheat in here. I haven't done that, but I know you can. And maybe I should try. <laughs> it's on my to-do list. Oh, you can also use the food processor to make almond milk. How about that? Homemade almond milk. So like I said, versatile. So many different jobs can be done in a blender. If you don't make a lot of smoothies and you only want to puree things every once in a while, an immersion blender is a really cool tool to have. I got out my immersion blender so I could show you guys. So it doesn't take a lot of room at all. It's very easy to store and it's very inexpensive. It's not gonna puree things as well as a blender will, of course, but for simple jobs like that, this is a great option. Well, those are my favorite and most used small kitchen appliances. What did you guys think? Did you agree with some of them? Do you guys like the same ones or do you have different favorites? 
If you want me to go in more depth with any of these appliances and show you how I use them, let me know. Maybe I'll do another video.